what's up. Just sharing my thoughts quickly on these couple of articles that were published today uh, by by News Corp. I think um Tommy News Corp. News.com.au is News Corp. And Channel 10, I'm pretty sure, was brought out by News Corp. Was it Fairfax or News Corp? I'm not sure. I wouldn't be surprised if Fairfax dipped its fingers in it too. Let's say it's Fairfax and News Corp. It doesn't matter. My thoughts are your grounds for defamation. Lab Society as a business. Its grounds for defamation are fucking excellent. Better than any other business in this country could fucking hope for. They've called you far right, white supremacist hate group and neo-Nazi organization. They've labeled you as that. So your grounds for defamation will be based on two arguments. First, uh, you'll claim compensation for all of the members who probably would have signed up based on your existing membership rate but now won't sign up because the, you've been called that in, the, in a mainstream media publication. What you'll need for that is all of your membership uh, lists, the date at which people signed up, and you'll need to show a definite decrease and then ideally almost a halt in membership around the time or shortly after this article or these articles were published. Um, second, your facility in Melbourne, Lad Society, has already been the victim or on the receiving end of politically motivated violence, which is a definition of terrorism in Australia. Okay, now you've reported both those incidents to police, and I'm assuming you have records of those reports. Okay, so you can also claim compensation by asserting that the articles published about that society are encouraging further politically motivated violence against you. Okay? And you can claim massive compensation for that, fucking millions, if you win that. It might even be better just to make that argument first, and if that argument doesn't work, then fall back on the membership argument, because the membership argument won't get you that much money. It'll be based on the rate at which you're re receiving members, and then, I'm um, sorry, I'm just getting text. And then, it would, it would be assumed that that rate of membership would have increased gradually over time. And, you know, based on five to 10 years of project, a projection, you might be awarded, you know, a couple of hundred grand based on that loss of uh, that loss of income from membership dues. But the terrorism one is the big one. You want to try to prove that they're encouraging more politically motivated violence against you because you've already been on the receiving end of it and you reported it, like I said. So there are my thoughts. Well, those are my thoughts. Uh, I'll put my feels out and see if I can find a defamation lawyer. I don't actually know one. My lawyer is a criminal lawyer. He's also retired. So um, it's kind of hard to get him to take on anything else, but he won't even touch defamation anyway. Whenever I've, whenever I've taken my concerns with articles written about me to him, I asked him about a possible defamation case. He doesn't even give his opinion. He goes, go find a defamation lawyer because I don't know. So amongst lawyers, defamation is generally considered an exclusive legal practice and criminal lawyers won't even touch those matters. Like I said, I'll see if I can get in contact with someone who knows one, but don't rely on me. You're better off going to a legal firm that's got a reputation for winning defamation cases and putting in an application because the terrorism one might, it's hard to get defamation cases on pro bono, but if they look at your case, I'm pretty confident they'll consider it because it's a fucking excellent case for defamation. You could walk away with millions, fucking tens of millions. So uh, seriously consider that. And if you're going to do it, don't fucking do it half ass. Get all your paperwork. Uh, specifically, just start off, like I said, with your police reports, copies of your police reports, and then go from there. If the first argument fails, then fall back on the membership, uh, membership one, loss of revenue. So that's it, I suppose. Uh, only other thing is tomorrow I'm going postering in the Moorabbin area just down the road from Chesterville. Uh, we're going to be doing, uh, myself and a couple of boys will do, it's okay to be white posters. Uh, there's a lot of leftist anarchist material in that area, so you good to cover it. Just uh, contributing another weekend to my glorious fucking postering campaign. Uh, 
you want to come, let me know in the comments. And I'll, uh, I'll let you know in private message where we're going to meet at what time. Probably be after 8 o'clock. Yeah. Just my thoughts.